Welcome to Sibiu, a gorgeous city located right in the heart of the Transylvanian mountains and home to Gothic churches, picturesque streets, open air museums, old city walls, towers, steam engines, and more. So enjoy the best things to do in Sibiu. Yes, hello and welcome to Sibiu, the um, city that we are going to be exploring now. Back in 2008, this was actually listed the eighth most idyllic place to live in Europe, which uh, is very interesting. Let's see if it lives up to that name. So we began our exploration in none other than what is considered to be the most beautiful street in Sibiu, which you can get an even better view of by climbing the towers that overlook it. So that's just what we decided to do. Into the tower. Into the tower. So here we are walking here overlooking um, the most beautiful street in Sibiu as it is known and here we actually get perfect views of what I can see just there which are the eyes of the houses. Sibiu is famous for these eyes. They're actually just ventilation systems for the houses. The story goes don't step out of line in Sibiu because all the houses have eyes and they're all watching you. So we've made our way across now to the second tower. This is uh, the Potter's Tower. <laughs> Ellie's here as well. Yeah, every tower is a different craft. Yeah, That's every what... tower is a different guild, but these guilds uh, didn't only sort of craft items, they also played a hand in protecting the city. Well, there's still another floor, so you wanna go up? Yeah, let's go. So the guilds of Sibiu date back to 1367. Each guild had their own tower located throughout the city. There were originally 25 towers around Sibiu, but only a few are still surviving today. But now it's time to head back down to our next stop in Sibiu. Everyone just watching me? Yeah, you're the test. Subject. If I fall, I fall. So from here we started heading towards the Lutheran Cathedral, and it wasn't long before the iconic tower peered into view. So yes, here we are outside Sibiu's Lutheran Cathedral, which pretty much dominates this cityscape. This spire is actually around 200 meters tall. So this Gothic cathedral dates back to the 14th century and it is extremely well preserved. So well preserved in fact that we can actually climb up to the top of that tower and get an epic view of this city. So let's do it. So we began by exploring the beautiful ground floor of this cathedral and after this we started to climb the tower and we soon found out that if you're scared of heights this will probably be your nightmare and it just so happens that Ellie is terrified of heights. What is it? Is it high? You can't see, it's high. And we can see all of the... You can see your steps and you... I don't like it. Oh, this is your worst nightmare. You can, just don't look down. When people walk down it, the whole thing rattles. I it's know. It's like a away. Well done. So after Ellie had a sit down to recover, we headed over to the windows to admire the incredible views over Sibiu. The mountains are so cool. I know, and they all have like snow on the peaks. And... Honestly, it's really cool. So now, all we had to do was get back down again. It is worse on the way down. I'll give you that. <laughs> That's the real fear right there. I really don't like it. I know, well, we got up now. You can't just live up here forever. No, no, I have to go. <laughs> I made it. Well done. That was How bad horrible. Was it? That was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even joking. <laughs> No, I'll give it to you. I wasn't, I'm not scared of heights, but it was still getting... It was, it was getting, getting you as well. Legs. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm proud of you. <laughs> You're proud of me. Now, whilst we head to our next location, I want to quickly mention, if you do want to see even more iconic locations all over the mountains surrounding this gorgeous town, feel free to check out my other videos from Romania in which we explore more of Transylvania's epic scenery, including these amazing places that you can see here. 
But for now, we're heading a short five minute drive south of the center of Sibiu, where you can find Europe's largest open air museum. And in my opinion, this one is a must visit. We're in. Yes, we've made it. Can't wait. So here we are now in Astra Museum, which is a very famous landmark located around five kilometers from the center of Sibiu. And as you can see, we are in one of the many uh, reconstructed Transylvanian villages that are located here. Rabbits. <gasps> I love rabbits. This will fuel your rabbit obsession, right? Yes, I love rabbits. I want one. So this museum is so massive that even with a few hours here, we knew we wouldn't be able to see all of it. So we sat down to have a look at the map to plan exactly where we wanted to go. How do we get around the lake? Because apparently there's some windmills. I saw it here. There's like a cool photo of like a village like this, but with big windmills, like by a lake. Mm -hmm. so it has to be like here, right? So our task right now is to find a third small village that is full of windmills and this museum is actually so massive it is uh, quite difficult to find places even with a map uh, but we know it's sort of on the shores of the big lake that is here so uh, yeah let's try to find it. Hello. So after around a 30 minute walk we finally arrived at the lake we'd been searching for. So I think what makes this very special is the fact that all of these houses uh, they are from different regions of Romania and then they've just been brought here. Uh, I don't know how they excavated them or how they transferred them but yeah they're from all the regions. We saw some from Oltenia uh, which is down south, some from just around here and uh, you see all the craftsmanship and there's like a blacksmith one and then a, a water pump one and yeah it's just uh, you see all the crafts that the peasants were doing at the time. Hello, Dogo. Hi. Oh, you're a very nice Dogo. It's very cute. We are pretty much right in the heart of Transylvania here which is actually a very multicultural region where throughout history Romanians, Hungarians and German settlers lived here together for centuries. They erected seven citadels and one of those citadels was named Sibiu or Hermannstadt as it was called in those times. we got to do a bit of climbing. And so we've made it inside the windmill as was the goal. This is the biggest windmill here. I was just so intrigued to find these based on the photos. They looked incredible and the view does not disappoint. It is amazing. So we headed back now into the center, but not the historical center because a short 20 minute walk from the historical center is one of my favorite locations that we found in Sibiu, located right next to the train station. Yes, here we are in uh, Sibiu's steam engine museum. Uh, you can see they're everywhere. Um, but yeah, let's go have a look around. It's just kind of left where you can wander. You're not allowed to get in the train, so you can just admire. It's very cool and it's kind of remote. You don't, I don't think a lot of people know about it. That's not a train. That's not a train. What are you doing? It's forbidden to go there. The museum has been open since 1994 and all of these uh, steam engines were actually used by the Romanian train company which is called Cefere uh, and it's just located opposite the train station in Sibiu. Since December 2000 uh, these have actually been declared by the government national treasures. So 
this bit here is the equivalent of uh, the combustion chamber from a regular internal combustion engine where you have steam gathering up and uh, making pressure that is going to be eventually released in this uh, uh, fixed piston rod. Then you have a mobile piston rod going from here all the way up to here which is going to turn the linear motion into a circular motion. This is the equivalent of uh, counterweights from uh, a regular com internal combustion engine. All these horizontal rods are connecting the wheels so that when one wheel turns, all the wheels are going to turn. So this is somewhat halfway exposed internal combustion engine as we know it in uh, modern cars these days. So that summarises our visit to the Steam Engine Museum. Back now into Sibiu's historical centre for a visit to the Brukenthal Museum. So this is actually made up of six museums located around the city. This is the art museum that we visited that is located inside the Brukenthal Palace. There are around 1,200 paintings housed here from German, Austrian, Italian, Spanish, French artists and more. <laughs> So whilst we were inside the museum, the sun went down and now to finish off our tour of Sibiu, we headed to a great alternative to the Lutheran Cathedral's tower for an amazing view of Sibiu and this is the clock tower and from the top we got a great nighttime view of Sibiu. Ah. It's good to do this in the evening. And yeah, probably, it's a great view. So that summarizes the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. For more ideas of things to do in Romania, feel free to check out my full Romania playlist down in the description, as Sibiu is surrounded with gorgeous locations, including the city of Brasov, Turda Saltmine, Kele Turzi, Pelesh Castle, and so much more. So please subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.